Hi everyone. Uh, today I want to show you how to make uh, cohort analysis. Uh, I will start with a churn report which I created in a previous video. And uh, I will kind of uh, improve, uh, kind of enhance that report. Yes, I will. Uh, I have uh, that kind of uh, beginning of report yes and i will uh, continue to build it more complicated in later uh, videos uh, and i started it yes from a sales report yes then i uh, evolved it in churn report and uh, now i will continue with uh, cohort analysis and i will make a copy of that churn report Uh, and I will quickly explain uh, what uh, do I have uh, here. Uh, I have uh, a table, uh, yes, where, where I have each customer, uh, information for each customer for each month. Uh, I have uh, invoice uh, count, uh, unit price sum. I, uh, I, I can calculate how many customers do I have, how many active customers. And I also can uh, understand when uh, the last order was. Uh, so now I want to add one more, uh, one more metric here. I want to track how many new customers do I have each month. K uh, case when t reg months equals t months then one else zero and as I call it new. And now see I have uh, for the months when customer joined, I have that uh, one here. So now I can, uh, I can calculate uh, how many new customers I have each month. Sum t new as new. I will delete this from previous video. I don't need it anymore. That's Python for generating SQL. Uh, DF. And see now I can uh, I can see how many new customers I have uh, each month. So the first month, yes, I have about 1000 and then less and less. And it's kind of fluctuates. Okay. Uh, to perform uh, cohort analysis, I need a lifetime. I need uh, how long customer uh, lived in uh, my company. Yes, how? Uh, so, for example, uh, here, yes, for the first month I should have zero. For the next month I should have one, etc. So that's the lifetime. I can calculate it using that extract function. And um, T months, now I will. And here is T uh, reg months. And here's the same. And I call it lifetime. And now I have exactly what I wanted, the lifetime for each month. So from that table, I can uh, construct my uh, cohort, cohort analysis. But, uh, and uh, what uh, cohort is? Uh, cohort is the month of registration. Uh, and you can uh, call it also generation if you want. Yes, the cohort of, for example, December 2000, uh, 10 yes or a generation of December of 2010 it's the same thing and um, let's uh, create this uh, report and um, I don't uh, I uh, when uh, uh, when I create the cohort analysis yes I, I uh, no longer have uh, months yes because I kind of normalize it yes for uh, so I uh, 
should delete the slack and, and all columns which are using months because it doesn't make sense anymore and uh, to keep it simple yes here i uh, i don't want to analyze the churn i will i will leave only one uh, churn matrix it's a churn two months uh, and now i want group by not months but uh, t reg months and i call it lifetime reg months as lifetime oh sorry as cohort and t uh, lifetime and same is here but you know i uh, i want uh, i will not rename it because it, it would be much simpler because we all understand that it is a reg months is cohort yeah under by uh, lifetime for example and now i have a bigger table where i have uh, same uh, same metrics but now for each cohort and uh, for each lifetime. How can I use it? I can make a pivot table. Pivot table, I will make index equals uh, reg months, uh, column equals lifetime, value equals, for example, uh, active PCT, active PCT, yeah. And let's see values. And now you can see the familiar uh, rectangular uh, table, yes, where you have uh, all values uh, above the main uh, diagonal of that table of that matrix, uh, I could say. And here I can see the percentage of active customers for each lifetime for each cohort. Yes. So, for example, for cohort uh, of uh, January 2011, for lifetime four, the number, the uh, percentage of active customers were about uh, 33 uh, percent. Okay. And um, it is uh, it is common to plot uh, heat maps for that kind of uh, tables, and for that I could use uh, Seaborn, Seaborn as SNS. It's a convention import, and SNS uh, has um, heat map, heat map, and I can just copy and paste that whole expression here. And see, I have that uh, heat map. So, and if I want to have it, um, to have uh, the annotation here, I can use a not equals true. Yeah. And to make it bigger, let's Google it. Uh, see born heat map uh, size. I've been here before. And uh, I never read uh, really questions on Stack Overflow. I go immediately to the uh, answer. Oh, so here it is. Just before, uh, just before colon heat map, I just matplotlib as uh, plt fig ax and here i can use uh, 16 9 for example see and uh, here is the nasty bug yes i i have uh, i have already googled it uh, and it is uh, because of new version of matplotlib and uh, it uh, it <clears throat> may be fixed later but for now uh, we could use heat map uh, 
trimmed. I, I will Google. And here is the issue uh, on GitHub. I found the solution very, very good. Like this. <clears throat> And now it's okay, you see. And uh, that's uh, the way you can uh, analyze the, uh, your uh, cohorts and making some some conclusions. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the table uh, is uh, not usually very convenient, and I like to, for example, uh, uh, to look only on one uh, dimension here, not. Uh, uh, simultaneously on cohort and lifetime, yes, but I want to calculate the average, for example, number of uh, average uh, percentage of active customers for uh, for cohort or for lifetime, yes, but here is uh, um, uh, here is a um, trick, because you can just uh, take an average, oh, and by the way, uh, see, uh, here I did not specify any uh, aggregation function because it doesn't matter here uh, because see if I if I change it for count count I will see that for each each uh, combination of lifetime and cohort I have only one only one value so it doesn't matter yes I could use max mean anything I want and uh, then I, uh, when I delete, for example, uh, columns, yes, and uh, I want to see it for uh, all, uh, for cohorts, yes, I will have a, the, a different situation. I have count here, yes, and uh, I have the different, I have different number of uh, values for each uh, cohort here so uh, i should be very careful here so the best way actually to uh, do it just to uh, perform another one uh, sql uh, query and just get rid here of some of the for example like this and uh, lifetime i put comma here just um, and I will perform the query. Mm. Red months. Uh, what's ah order by lifetime? Order by T uh, reg months. And uh, see, I got the uh, result, and I can and I can compare it for this one if I took uh, if I take mean here, yeah. So it looks the same, uh, but we will have a different uh, different uh, picture, yes. If I uh, do it like that, see, I will plot that again and now I will take cohort I will take lifetime here when I want to see it for lifetime lifetime yeah so see uh, see what uh, I have here and now I will change it to lifetime here Lifetime. I just do it like this. See, lifetime. And now, if I compare that uh, values here, I will see that they are slightly different. Uh, for example, see here I have the uh, twenty-six. And here I have 24. 
Uh, that's because uh, when I uh, take an average for lifetime, I have uh, different size of uh, cohorts. As I showed you in the beginning of that uh, video, yes, when I calculated the number of new customers, yes, because each cohort have a different number of customers. See, select uh, sum t t t reg. Oh, I I just uh, can do it like this. T months sum t new from uh, sales months group by t months. And the order, uh, order by T months. And uh, you can see, yes, uh, that I have the um, different uh, number of customers for each cohort. So I can just take an average uh, of percentage. Yes, if uh, I, I have to take kind of weighted average, if I want to uh, take it from that uh, big table, yeah. I have to weight it by the size of uh, each cohort. But when I do it uh, here, if I do it in a uh, SQL query, yes, I don't have to worry about it because here is uh, here everything is correct. And um, you don't have to look at, uh, for example, at uh, some metrics here yes because they don't uh, they uh, they don't make make sense for example customer here on you yes that's just the all customers uh, what we have here yeah and um, but uh, the rest the rest of it is uh, okay so uh, for example here you just don't want to use this okay So that's uh, how you uh, perform cohort analysis. Yes, so you can uh, build the tables for uh, each uh, for each value for each metric you have uh, for your uh, customers and find interesting uh, patterns. Uh, it uh, sometimes use uh, very useful to, for example, see when your uh, customers start to cool down yes for example the first months of uh, their lifetime is usually very active and then the uh, activity drops and uh, if you see it you can uh, propose some uh, stimulation yes some marketing company or something like that to uh, kind of activate your customers to make them active again <laughs> so that's it for today. Have fun.